Uh, do you know any words or phrases in Portuguese? Hola, que tal? What's up guys? Hoje tengo un video muito, muito legal para vocês. Eu tô aqui em Londres, numa escola de inglês. A escola se chama Nassil. Se vocês não estão sabendo por que eu tô aqui em Londres, é por causa desse cara aqui. Olá, tudo bem? Ele é o de David, ou David, eu nunca sei como pronunciar seu nome, se tanto, eu posso... Tanto faz, David <risos> ou David, tanto faz. Ele é o dono do IC Group, que é uma empresa que é, ajuda os brasileiros fazendo intercâmbios aqui em Londres e na Irlanda também. Sim. O David convidou vários alunos e professores da escola Sim. para fazer um vídeo muito bacana sobre o Brasil com eles, com esses gringos, né? Uhum, uhum. Eles já, já estão esperando, já. Mas olha que legal essa escola aqui, uh, muitos alunos brasileiros gostam de estudar aqui. Tem uma sala aqui também, com tudo bem moderna, né, a sala. Mas uh, por que as, os, os alunos gostam de estudar nessa escola aqui? Bom, a NASA eu sou suspeito de dizer, eu estudei aqui há 10 ah, anos, tá. 11 anos atrás. Então eu fiz parte também da, uhum. né, do desenvolvimento dessa escola. E assim, muitos estudantes optam devido à localização, uhum. aqui é uma escola que as famílias ficam próximas, fica próxima da estação, que dá uma conexão para o centro da uhum. cidade, e aqui também não fica tão afastado da cidade, né? Então é, é uma conexão muito boa. Fica próximo da Ice Group House. Onde eu tô ficando. Onde você tá ficando. Se vocês não assistiram aquele vídeo, vou deixar no final desse vídeo. Se vocês querem Exato. conhecer as recomendações bem legal a casa lá também. Exato. E o custo-benefício, né? O valor, hum. o valor é ótimo. É. E os professores também são de ótima qualidade. Todos britânicos, uhum. assim. Acho que vamos conhecer alguns desses professores, vão, né? Vamos sim, vocês vão sim. <risos> Vamos lá, eu tenho algumas perguntas, eu tenho alguns uh, brasileiros famosos para mostrar se eles conhecem. Uh, vamos ver o que esses gringos vão conhecer do Brasil. What, when you think about Brazil, what do you think about? I think about samba, <laughs> and the, the music, the happy people, this uh -huh. is my first thought. Yeah. Uh, the carnival, maybe football as well. Mm. Cool, cool. Pelé. Uh -huh. Do Mexicans have a stereotype about pe the people, the Brazilian no, people? No, not really. We no? like, we like, and we have a good concept of uh, Brazilians. I think of the sun. I think of rice and beans, <laughs> and I think of long Brazilian names. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think of long Brazilian names? Because all of the Brazilians have so many names, yeah. and it's always like for Sousa or Costa, always in there. 10 names. <laughs> and you ask them, and the first name on the passport is never the name they use. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. Yes. When, they have, when you have such a choice, <laughs> yeah. you, you might as well choose the best one. That's true. When you think about Brazil, what, what do you think about? Uh, sunny, sunshine, but not at all. I, I don't know a lot of things. So. Now the, um, the carnival. Uh huh. Um, what, what, what do you hear about carnival? Uh, it's very. It's very cool, it's a uh, lot of sunny, uh -huh. a lot of woman, the dance, uh, party, yes. and music, yeah, right? Cool, cool. Well, I guess the things I probably know most about are the carnival, because I know that a lot of my students have told me about that and what happens every year. The uh, dancing, like the samba and things like that, I know from television programs that we have over here. I've heard a little bit about Brazilian foods, and I've tried some of it. Brigadeiro. Uh -huh. um, a, a few students have been uh, kind enough to bring it in so we can uh, try it. So uh, it's quite a popular dish. I've been told about feijoada, um, which I've still not tried. I really would like to because it sounds delicious. Yeah, I mean, we, we get students from lots of different cities, so I hear little bits about that, but we get quite a few from Rio and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also just the weather. I'm sure the weather is so much nicer than here, so, given it's south of the equator. Do they always complain about the weather? Um, yeah, but actually the amazing thing is when we get snow, when we get snow, they're always amazed, because um, obviously it's such a rare occurrence in Brazil. So uh, last December and January when we had a lot of snow, yeah, we had, I had a student actually leave my classroom to go out and take pictures, because <laughs> they were so excited. Like My class just stopped, because everyone was like, oh, it's snowing. Are there any like stereotypes that English the English have about Brazil? Yes. Yes. What are some of them? <laughs> they're loud. A lot Brazilians of, are loud. They're loud. Both louder French. than Americans? Yeah. yeah. Really? They're different. Yeah. You're American, aren't you? I am. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear it. Um, so I would say 
say is Brazilians are louder than Americans. Okay. But in a more positive, friendly yeah. way. Yeah, okay. So they'd be like, hi, I'm going to introduce myself and have this big personality. Otherwise, Americans mm. would just be loud and not necessarily interact. I know someone is Brazilian before I have introduced them because they're <laughs> the first person to be like, hello, <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, so super friendly, very loud. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I feel like always ready for a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've decided. Yeah. <laughs> I can think of one. It's a little bit rude. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Like a good Brazilian bum. <laughs> 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 like I was told by a Brazilian student that a woman should have the body of a guitar. <laughs> this is the ideal thing. And I think it's... I've never heard that before. Have you not? What is the capital of Brazil? You know the capital? Brazilian? Brazil? Brazil, yeah. Yeah, Brazilian. nice, nice. Do you know any other cities? What are the other cities? Uh -huh. There's one that I know you know. It's another big one. There's a yeah, little beach cool, but... and... I don't remember, but I... I know, I know, but... <laughs> You're nervous. Yeah. It's okay, relax, relax. Brasilia. Nice, nice. Uh, do you know, know any other cities in Brazil? Yeah, Sao Paulo, uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the capital of Brazil? Rio de Janeiro. It's uh, Brasilia, actually. Oh, yes, actually, yes, so I didn't know that. Actually, yeah, yeah, I've had some students from Brasilia. Yes, yeah. that's right, yeah. Brasilia. Nice! <laughs> My head was not Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of people say Rio. What language do they speak in Brazil? Espan Spanish. Spanish? Spanish, yeah. Is it Spanish or is it a different one? Spanish. Portuguese. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know any words or phrases in Portuguese? Hola, que tal? Have they taught you any Brazilian Uh Not really, no. I mean, I get some things and it's a little bit similar to Spanish, which uh -huh. I know a little bit of. So yeah. sometimes they'll say things and I'll be like, oh, okay, I sort of understand that. But um, most of the time, uh, no, I don't. Occasional words that I can understand. But... Well, you learned feijoada and brigadeiro and that. Yeah. those are important all, all, words. All the food lessons <laughs> that we've done, yeah. Those are important words to know if you ever go to Brazil. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, what language do they speak in Brazil? Portuguese. Nice. Do you know any Portuguese words or expressions? Oh, eu quem falo português. <laughs> <laughs> Me and one of my students the other day actually, we were discussing the differences between so Portugal pronunciation of Portuguese and the uh -huh. Brazilian pronunciation. And I was saying how when I was on holiday in Portugal, it sounded more like Russian. Have you ever heard that? I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. <laughs> in uh, Brazil, the pronunciation doesn't really sound as Russian. And I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, we have, uh, there's, there's like a running joke between the Brazilians <clears throat> that the people from Portugal really speak kind of this like, it's like a mouthy Portuguese. Yeah. I'm going to show you some famous Brazilian people. Okay. And I want to see if you if you know who they are. And if not, maybe just guess what you think they do. <laughs> How about this guy? I have no clue. So he's a race car F1 driver. Okay. Pilot? Driver? He's a driver, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of close, but um, um, I don't know who is it. But... He looks like a Formula One driver. Yeah, I thought that. I think I think it's the collar. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. Away, right? yeah. he's got the collar of a driver. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Arrington Senna, and he was a really famous. Oh. Um, was there a film about there it? There was a yeah. film about him. He's like an icon, Brazilian icon, mm. and he's really. He's the man. Yeah. <laughs> he's very idolized in Brazil. Okay, how about this guy? Ah, oh, that is um, Ayrton Senna. Nice! You're the first one to get yeah. that. I uh, watched the documentary about him. Nice. So, um, yes, I, I recognise him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. Interesting interesting guy, right? Yeah, well, yeah, and it was, I mean, you know, documentaries, you know, it's probably one of the best documentaries I've seen actually in the movie because it was got very emotional at the end because I didn't really know anything about it. My dad's into Formula One, uh -huh. but I didn't know much about it, so. It was, yeah, it was amazing to see what an icon he was for, for when he was alive and everything. Yeah, so. he still is very 
he's a, kind of like this bigger than life figure still in Brazil. Yeah. For a lot of people. So. Mm. Okay, this guy. Mm. No. <laughs> he's famous. Is he, he is, like just a an Instagrammer guy? Is he, yeah, an influencer. He is a, the biggest YouTuber in Brazil. Oh, wow. okay. No. Oh, um. YouTuber? Yeah. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, he just has the yeah, uh, the personality. The glasses, yeah. be and... uh, Is that Pele? Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't actually know what Pele looks like. Yeah. He's uh, a more recent celebrity. This is the most famous YouTuber in Brazil. Ah. Uh, so okay. his name is Winderson. I don't Winderson. know. Winderson. Yeah. Okay. He's just he's kind of like got this like big bubbly personality. Okay. It looks like it from the yeah. <laughs> Blogger, YouTuber. <laughs> I don't know who is he. How could you tell? He looks like a. Because he's having fun in the mirror. <laughs> E daí, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Só queria falar com vocês rapidinho sobre uma promoção muito, muito bacana para meus seguidores. Vou deixar tudo aqui na descrição desse vídeo, mas se vocês têm interesse em conhecer mais sobre os intercâmbios do IC Group, muito, muito recomendo que vocês vão lá dar uma olhada no link também. Cada vez que eu conheço mais sobre as escolas e os, os alunos que estão fazendo intercâmbio com IC Group, eu tô ficando mais andando para recomendar essa empresa para vocês. Então, super recomendo que vocês vão lá descobrir mais sobre a promoção e sobre o IC Group. É isso, gente. Tchau, tchau.